here you can see is unsupported a laptop is a way out by checking this option it will bypass all the requirements of installing windows 11 on unsupported computer and now i am installing windows 11 on hi it. welcome to do info in this video i am going to show you the latest and the easiest method of installing windows 11 on any devices any unsupported computer so for this method the first thing you need a flash drive a thumb drive which is 8 gigabyte or bigger than this second you need a tiny application rufus to make a bootable usb drive third we need a windows 11 iso file which we can download from windows website so let's start the process i have connected a thumb drive with this computer is a one terabyte uh, you can see here is empty make sure the drive is empty because after making it a bootable windows drive all the data will be removed second once it's connected second we need to download the rufus 4.7 or whatever the latest version that time would be i'm going to show you how to install rufus 4.7 go to your browser and go to the rufus website it's a rufus.ie once you go to their official website you can see scroll down currently they have 4.7 version it's very tiny application just click here and it will download the, the latest version of rufus 4.7 when you are watching this video it might be 4.8 or 9 or maybe 5.0 has to be 4.3 or above not below 4.3 once you install this rufus 4.7 we need to download the windows iso file go to the microsoft official website microsoft official website and once you go here scroll down download windows 11 disk image which is iso file click here select windows 11 iso file click download now it will process your request choose your language mine is english united state and then confirm as soon you press confirm here is your download option just click here and it will start downloading the windows it will take some time because it's about like a seven to eight gigabyte file you have to be patient in downloading windows 11 iso file just click here and it will start downloaded i am not going to download this one because i have already done if you want to know in details how to make a bootable usb drive i have made another video you can see this this one and I will also put the link in the description so now we have USB drive connected Rufus downloaded window 11 downloaded click here on the Rufus application sometime it will detect your USB automatically if don't this is the tiny arrow you need to click list the USB and you will see it will detect the thumb drive automatically one terabyte usb if your usb is not showing here you can just click on tiny arrow and the select from the list the second thing you need to change is click here on select file we need to tell where the iso file we have downloaded mine is on desktop you can see here here is windows 11 iso file you don't need to change anything else here and the magical thing here as soon you press start it will give you the application rufus will give you the application customize windows installation remove requirements for 4 gig ram secure boot and tpm 2.0 this is the option you need to check here because by checking this option it will bypass all the requirements of 
installing Windows 11 on unsupported computer. If you want to bypass to have a Microsoft account at the Windows 11 startup, just click here, change the name and the window automatically create a local admin account on this computer by that name these are the magical steps to press ok now the rufus is telling you you might see a security warning of uefi because we have turned it off just press ok press ok and boom it will start making a magical windows 11 thumb drive which can install on any computer hi so we are back to our unsupported laptop here where we are going to install windows 11 you can see uh, the processor is way old and now we have created our magical windows 11 bootable usb with rufus let's connect this usb with this computer and install windows 11. it will open the prompt just click on the setup you also can boot from this drive but i'm um, just installing right opening the setup file so it will prepare for the windows i will speed up this process a bit but i'm not gonna skip any steps so you can see everything has been done here so let's install the windows 11 getting some updates let's fast forward here Now you're gonna get this window, preparing something, press next, yes. Now you want to keep your files, you're gonna select here, yes, I wanna keep my all the files. Just far forward here again, quickly. Installing Windows 11. This step will take about half an hour, sometime 20 minutes. I'm going to fast forward here as well.